guys, welcome back to Irene Tarot Art. I'm Ren and I hope everyone's having a great week. It's been quite a big week for me. Um, welcome to a very food orientated artist vlog as I happen to film eating out a few times this week. But um, I'll be showing you the process of this oil painting throughout the video, which I call Cloud Front. It's not one of my favorite paintings, but it is what it is. Amongst this past week's adventures, Jay and I had a date night at a local Japanese restaurant that we loved to eat at, which was lovely. We also went on a waterfall hike to a rainforest walk with many, many, many steps to get to the bottom and climb back up. Um, and then we headed out to a cafe together, which was a really nice day out. Teresa, Jasmine and I headed out and checked out some Christmas decorations followed by a stop at Geelong Waterfront to walk, talk and eat basically. We had lunch out together. Amongst these things, I had a really busy week just doing things like mum's windows, um, just to help her out. She can't really do her own windows anymore. So spent a day doing that. I had a big dentist appointment. So yeah, lots of crazy things going on. And um, food wise, this week I thought I'd include some chicken, carrot, Thai red curry fritters um, for something different. So you'll see that later in the vlog. But the day I actually started the painting, before starting, we headed over to my mum's place for lunch as per Jazz's request for mum's crumbed chicken wings, which were nice. Okay, I'll come. And uh, Let's see. go maybe 11 o'clock, you know, because you understand I'm in the bed. Maybe got the sack. I don't know. And maybe. Well, lad, kiruk takas on you. I don't know. I yeah. ask. That's what I done. Hey, can somebody keep me there? Yeah. Yeah. You on the whiskey Tony? Yeah. 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 I'm gonna have some hot sauce for anybody else. Oh, yeah. Tony might. Uh, Tony. <laughs> Jason might. He loves hot sauce. <laughs> Her big head, your big cherry harvest is ruined. That's it. Then to kick off this piece um, was really simple, the first layer. It was just basically the backdrop to the sky and the backdrop to the water and the land formation. So it was just a nice, quick and easy layer. As I said, Jay and I had a date night last weekend. We went to Okami, which is an all-you-can-eat Japanese restaurant that we absolutely love. We ate so much and then proceeded to drink way too much wine, listen to music and ended up going to bed at like two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Ready for date night. Hello, Cinnabon. You gonna come? Should I try in the car? Yeah, yeah, park in that one. We need our wine though. Yes, 
smell like. Throw some music on. Good date, mate. Cheers. Then on the painting, it was time to work on all this complex cloud formation, which I did all in one day. So that was quite a big day of painting. We love our hikes. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you will know that. Um, so it was time to visit yet another beautiful waterfall. So we went on a couple hour drive down to the rainforest close by the Otways and um, went to a little waterfall. The hike itself wasn't as long as a lot of hikes we've done, but there were so many steps to get to the bottom and to climb back up from. It was so beautiful though, very well worth it. And that rainforest air, just nothing beats it. It's just so good. Well, at least we haven't seen any cars coming down here. Oh, just <laughs> as I say it, just as I say it. Long way down. Gorgeous down here, isn't it? Oh God, it just keeps going and going and going, honey. <laughs> Then after the actual hike, we popped into a studio art gallery cafe, which was pretty average really and way overpriced. They were asking like $4,800 for this relatively small watercolor piece. Um, so yeah, it was just crazy overpriced, but I love checking out places like that. So that was nice popping in there. And then on the painting next, I decided to work on the water. Um, I'd had a busy day. So yeah, I started late in the afternoon and then by the time I made dinner and we ate, I ended up painting until like 10.30 at night, but um, got there in the end. Wow. Yeah, it's a game of patience. That looks fun. Yeah, it's gonna have like color 
reflected but first I've got to add in all the light over the dark and then the reflection will come and then that'll be rock face and that'll be sand and there'll be like lit sand and yeah it's just a big big painting this is for my art for Christmas yeah Maybe. yeah if she wants it I don't know what color scheme she's got in mind so when I finish it I will send her a photo and say I meant this for you but if you don't like it you don't feel obligated to take it and hang it so way easy we'll see well, yeah well, well. Well, it's quite impressive as is. Oh, thank you, Max. You're welcome. But as you can see, I'm going to be here a while. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I think it's going to be a late night tonight. Yeah, I can hear. On Teresa's day off work, Jazzy also happened to have a day off randomly this past week. So we decided to head out together and check out some Christmas decorations and um, head to the waterfront, go for a nice walk, go to a nice restaurant for lunch. That was a really good day together. Hello. So I put in your car, I'm like, all right. It's so cute. The pier's still busy. People probably fishing maybe. Yeah, people do yeah. all the time. So much Christmas stuff. You excited to decorate the house? Yeah. Uh, that's old, wow. Yeah, this, it's vintage, but he'd always sit out the back with his best friend, Regip, and they'd be there, like, having coffee and, and playing this game. And it was just that... Did you English back at high school? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. Should be able to speak. I should, well, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait till it's hot enough to actually go to the beach. Mm. Do you guys want to eat inside or outside? Um, I'm I'm not phased. Outside, if there's seats. Yeah. That would be Then the fourth layer of this painting absolutely did my head in. Um, I worked on the rocks and the sand, but it was it was just not a good day of painting, which happens sometimes. Sometimes you just can't get in the zone and you just can't make things look the way you want to make them look and it was just one of those failed days of painting. <laughs> Ask about Christmas. Yeah, ask about Christmas. And it's it's yeah. alright because you've just got two days now and it's the weekend. <laughs> it's not a fun story. <laughs> Five day weekend. <laughs>
For a weeknight dinner this week, I made some carrot and chicken Thai red curry chicken fritters. Said chicken twice then. But um, yeah, they're just like these little chicken fritters, which are absolutely beautiful, hot or cold. And I added some um, yogurt sauce to go with them, some pepper studded couscous, and just made a rainbow salad up to have on the side. It was really nice. Give it a go for something different. So we're gonna start with the chicken mince. Into the chicken mince, I'm going to throw a big knob of grated ginger, one grated carrot, a few splashes of fish sauce, and about a half a jar of Thai red curry paste. That all goes in. Okay, set that aside, ready to cook. Now we're gonna do the couscous. I'm using, for two people, two thirds of a cup of couscous. So that goes in a bowl. And then it's pepper studded couscous, so red pepper goes in or capsicum. Lots of chicken stock because couscous is very bland, so it needs flavoring. Salt, pepper, and then a little bit of garlic powder and onion powder. And then we'll get a cup of hot water. So pour your hot water over your couscous, give it a bit of a stir, and then we wanna cover that with some cling wrap and set aside until we're ready to serve. Just like that. Now let's cook the chicken. So the chicken is quite messy, so it's easy just to do it with two spoons. You wanna dollop little round ball shapes into your hot oil and cook them on all sides while we prep our salads. Turn that up a bit. And just let them do their thing. In the meantime, I'm gonna make the yogurt sauce while those are cooking. So you need some Greek yogurt. Really straightforward. Just dollop some Greek yogurt into a bowl. Add one clove of grated garlic. The zest and juice of one lime. Generous amount of salt and some black pepper. Give it a good stir and that's ready to dollop all over the chicken once they're cooked. Now all I've got to do is prep a salad to go on the side. I've just done a simple red cabbage rainbow salad and you can put any type of dressing on it. I just put a little bit of lime juice and the yogurt sauce is plenty for me personally. We've got our couscous ready to go and our chicken is nice and golden on all sides. You want to do it on kind of low because it can catch because of the red curry paste. So just nice and gentle with it and we're ready to serve. And our little fritters go on. And enjoy. Very tasty, but if you don't like things too citrusy, don't add the lime zest into the yogurt and maybe only add half the lime because yogurt already is a little bit sour. Um, but it was lovely and Jay took some to work the next day. He loved them cold as well. So it was just, yeah, really nice meal to have. And then um, next layer on the painting, I decided to finish up by adding some light. Um, it was, yeah, right before a massive dentist appointment, which I had, like I finished this this morning, then I had a massive dentist appointment, so I was numb for like a couple hours. I had a wisdom tooth pulled, I had a couple fillings. So yeah, I survived, but just. Um, and then yeah, decided to, yeah, finish up this painting. 
And uh, though it's not one of my favourites, it is a gift piece. Um, and if the person likes it, great. If not, I'm just it's just a giveaway piece, really. It is what it is. Sometimes things don't turn out exactly how you want them to. Yeah, that's the problem with um, painting from the mind rather than painting from a photo. You never really know what it's going to turn out like. But um, in the next few weeks, I'd like to work on a couple more gift pieces and treat them like commissions with Christmas coming up, obviously. Um, so I'll be doing that over the next couple weeks. Um, and that's about it for this crazy busy week. Um, yeah, I'll be working on sort of a rainforesty piece next week if all goes well as um, you know I like to change my mind quite often so we'll see what happens but um, I hope you enjoyed the video um, I hope you're having a great week I hope you have a great weekend and I hope you'll join me next time thank you for joining me on my art journey and sometimes some um, not so well turned out paintings that come of that journey <laughs> and I hope to see you next time thanks guys bye